broke nigga flexing on the ground. I cracked the grin, I'm just being petty. My ex posted pictures of a new man, so I smashed a friend, I'm just being petty. Too fascinated with doing it big, I just being petty. Kicked them out of my section, made room for the chicks, I just being petty. So Welcome back to the channel! I wanted to be the kind of person that wears a choker, but I'm not that kind of person. So, here I am. What's up? What's crack lacking? Um, I'm excited. A lot of people complain that I'm loud, and I always want to say like, but do you have a volume button? <laughs> because people get online and they post videos where they're talking like this, and it's really hard to understand them. So, you know, I want to like, I just press the up volume. I'm yelling at my kids, shut the TV off, be quiet, I'm trying to hear something. Meanwhile, like if you just talk louder to begin with, you know, you can control the volume. I just want to give you something to work with, boo boo. That's it. So today, Finally, we're doing a Boohoo haul. So <laughs> let's just keep things very real right now, right? So I ordered this stuff on the 3rd of July, at least it was this month, and it showed up yesterday, which was the 20, you guys know what day it was. It was the 21st, but you know what other kind of day it was. Um, so it showed up yesterday on the 21st, and so that's how many days? Too many days. So um, I've heard a lot of you guys complain about Boohoo's shipping before. And I've had to wait a longer period than I anticipated before. The only reason that this annoyed me so much is because it said it was gonna get here last Monday. Like, not the Monday from this week, but the Monday prior to that. And I was like, sweet, I'm gonna have it, I can take it on my trip. No, finally, it was like Tuesday, and then it was like Wednesday, and then it was like Thursday, and I was like, well damn, I leave tomorrow, and I don't think it's gonna show up before 9 a.m. So, I ended up having to like go out and buy other stuff to uh, accommodate, you know, my needs for the weekend. So, that's why I was so annoyed. But Boohoo's prices are so good that I cannot be that mad at the shipping. Sometimes I pay just for the faster shipping, which, you know, then it gets here in like a normal amount of time versus like two freaking weeks, um, or two and a half weeks, I guess. But anyway, uh, when I ordered this stuff, it was for July 4th, so they had uh, like a holiday sale going on. So I got it all for 60% off, which I love Boohoo. I love their prices, I really do. And their stuff can be very hit or miss for me, but... If I watched Boohoo hauls, it probably wouldn't be that hit or miss. So, you guys watch this video and then I'll let you know what are the hisses, the hisses? The hits and what are the misses because, woo, we had some misses, boo boo. Okay, it was bad, but <laughs> let's just jump right into it. And I'm actually gonna start with what I got my daughter. I only have two things, um, cause she's wearing the other one. So right now, I will insert a picture right here. And that is what she has on today currently. She just left to go to a little party and she looks so cute and I love their little sets. I love their uh, girls clothes and their little boys clothes. I think they're just super duper, super duper cute. So uh, that I got her, it's the Girls Brooklyn sports set and it's only $6.40. Like that set cost me $6.40. Like a whole outfit for my child cost me six dollars. What? And she looks hella cute. So um, I posted that on Instagram though with a whole like story about you know my child and and growing up and being like fat and like a whole big sentimental thing so feel free to go check that out but I also got her this little set so this is a short set and this is her favorite color so the bottom is just shorts and then the top is um this little shirt that says aloha and this one is for sure like her favorite color which is why we bought it so this one was only eight bucks um and she's like super excited to wear it to summer camp or whatever so I don't know it's just like a light little airy thing and then this one I just thought would I just thought this was cute and I wish it was in like big people sizes <laughs> but it just says fry yay and it's um it is a little crop but it's not it's not super short like if she just had her normal jeans on it would probably like that much of her belly might poke out but um that was only four dollars so if you have little kids boohoo does have kids clothes and they have men's clothes I have have I bought anything from the men's side I don't think so but maybe I'll give that a shot you guys want to see me dress a man up cuz I know a few um Oh, that, what an idea, right? Anyway, you guys are probably not here for that. But let's jump in to the lady stuff. And you know what? I'm going to give you my favorite thing first. You don't need to wait. If you don't have time, this is all you need to see in the whole. I'm just kidding. Don't leave. I'm going to be so mad at you. And you know, I know when you guys leave. You know that, right? YouTube tells us everything. So this I got in a size. Let me tell you what it's called. It's called the, it's called the Yasmin Gingham. Is it? Do you say Gingham or Gingham? Gingham? Am I saying it wrong? Skort. <laughs> it's a skort. And I got this in a size, it says 22, so it's probably US, um, US 18. And it is pretty stretchy. It's 
super cute. It's nice and thick, so it does kind of disguise like the belly area. Plus with the print, I just think it's it's ridiculously cute. And it is black and white, but like when I look at it here, it it's kind of like a almost like a faded black. It's it could probably, I don't know, if you were trying to pair it with navy, I could see potentially doing that like you know what I'm saying? Um, and this was only $12. $12. I guarantee you I would have paid $55 for this or whatever at uh, Torrid or wherever. Like, this is nicely made. This is a good quality, like, and it fits so nicely. And it's not crazy short, but, like, if I was really bending over and going to town, then um, for sure the cheeks would be, like... Bleep, bleep, they'd be coming out to play off the bottom there, but it's so cute. So then I bought a couple of different tops to try to pair with it. I wonder how this little thing would look with it. I don't know. But um, I bought this blue, or this blue top. <laughs> I bought this white top. Maybe I said blue because it has like a little bluish like tinge to it. And it's just ribbed and it's long sleeve and it's very open in the front and it is a crop top. Um, it's a little bit big around like my waist. But just for this skirt I would probably have to like kind of tuck it in and kind of cinch it a bit in um, the back. And this one I got in a size US 20 and it's a plus Jessica ribbed plunge neck shirt. And I paid $8 for it. $8! What? And um, I, I've seen a lot of comments lately about my the size of my chest. I get comments about it all the time. And, but I think people think that somehow it got smaller. It didn't. My chest has always been very modest. And your girl works with her girls. And everything's good over here. So don't, don't concern yourself with my boobs. Um, so anyway, this would work really well without a bra. But I would probably need like some kind of... Um, I'd probably have to wear like... Uh, like nipple covers like some kind of petal or something and I can't find mine So I don't know how I'm gonna show you guys these clothes that show my nipples We'll see <laughs> I'll figure it out before I uh, do that portion So next up along with that white shirt. I thought um, It might work with these pants as well There was something about these pants on the model that it was I was just drawn into them because this is not something I typically sort of you know, go towards. Um, this is the plus Diane pleat front trouser, and I got this in a size US 20 because I wasn't sure how it was gonna, how the material was gonna fit, like if it was gonna be real stretchy or not. I'm sure I could have looked to see what it was made out of, but that's not my style. So um, they are very stretchy, and I love the two pleats in the front because between the the pleats and the pockets, it really disguises like the belly area. I do wish that it was a little bit more tapered at the ankle. It's a little bit wide for my liking, and it's a little bit long. But I might just have it taken in because they were very inexpensive. Um, what did I say they were called? Jessica? No. Diane? Yeah. Diane was only $12.80. And um, they're just, they feel like a really nice quality. And it's got like a nice thick band on top. It does feel like the kind of band that's going to flip. You know what I'm talking about, right? When the elastic on the inside flips. It's really annoying. <laughs> but um, they just... They're so nice, and I'm like, oh, I would love to have like a nice pit, a uh, pit, a nice pair of fitted trousers. Um, so I thought that might like good, look good with that uh, white shirt as well. So we'll see how that works out. Now this next set, it just looked good on the model. I was probably the same model. I love the blonde haired model, the like skinny, like white blonde haired model. That. Uh, maybe they all look like that. Now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. She, I could, I'll insert a picture of her. Maybe, I'll see. But <laughs> um, she's so cute. I just love the way that she, it's not even that she's cute, it's that the clothes on her body always look so good. I think that's what entices me to shop at Boohoo is their models. Like some places, like ASOS for instance, their models don't do it for me all the time. Like I look at the clothes on their bodies and it just doesn't like push me to buy. But there are other places where I'm like, dang, I just can't resist it because the model makes it look so good. And that's kind of like a double-edged sword because sometimes it only looks good on the model and then I get it and I look crazy, but whatever. They're, they're killing it. They have a good they have a good mix over there. So I bought this set because it looks so good on the freaking model. It's so cute. It's like um what color is this? Kind of like a blush pink kind of color. And then it has these like obnoxiously big <laughs> um, drawstrings and they are not functional. They don't pull anything. And um, I really like the shorts and they're super comfortable and they're like shorts that I would normally wear around the house already. Uh, so I thought that the shorts were really cute. And the hoodie is definitely kind of a this is like a trendy piece. This is not something I would go out and spend a lot of money on because I would probably only wear it once or twice. But it is really cute. It's got like, 
all the little cuts in the top there, you know, like all the slits that everyone's doing. And then it has the same uh, drawstring, but this one actually is functional. And then it has a huge cutout on the shoulder, so it's a hardcore, like, cold shoulder. And then it also has the ties on the end, which you guys have probably seen the ties all over the place because they're super trendy right now. But I love the hoodie on its own, and I love the shorts on their own. But together, it's a mess. It does not look good together, but it does come as a set. And this is the Plus Ava Distressed Open Shoulder Short Lounge Set. And I got it in a US 20. What did I say her name was? Nancy? Ava. Ava, 16 bucks for the set. So not bad, 16 bucks for a shorts and a hoodie. Not bad. Uh, next up, I got another cord set, Coord set. <laughs> This one was a bad idea. Again, this looks so good on her, but I, and I knew this was a stretch. I knew it was a stretch. I knew it. I knew looking at it that you had to be the perfect human being in order for that to look good on you. So this is the plus plus. This is the plus Bethany short and blazer cord set, and I got this in a US 20 as well. And um, yeah, this like silkyish material does not. It's just. It doesn't do it for me. Um, it's not forgiving in any way, but it's still, still something about it. Maybe if this was a different color. I bet if this was black, I would still, I would really like it. But it was just something about it. I just thought it was so cute, but I, <sighs> I don't even want to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to not enjoy filming that part. Uh, here's another miss for me, I guess. I don't know. I mean, no, it's a miss. <sighs> Is it? I don't know. You guys can tell me. Like, I guess if I, if I was one of those, um, like, fashion-y kind of girls, right? Like, uh, who, what's her name? Samantha, Samantha M Maria. She has, like, very different fashion, right? I always think that she looks really good. I like her style. Her style is different, um, and she's very trendy. But she's able to pull off these, like, oversized pieces and these giant ruffles and everything. And it looks so good on her, but I always feel like it looks good on her because she's petite, because she's small. And no matter how hard I try in life, like, looking smaller to me in my brain is still the way that you should look. You should never be big and look bigger, right? I feel like that's the general consensus. I'm not saying that's right, but... If we're being totally honest, that's still the way my brain functions. So that's something I'm working on, but this is big, and I'm already big, and it just makes me look like big, big, and I prefer not to look that way. So this is the Plus Sophia Off the Shoulder Flare Sleeve Top in Blue Bell. Oh, I thought I said Blueberry. Blue Bell. And I got this in a US 20. I don't know why I got it in a 20. I don't know why I'm getting everything in a 20, because I know that... Most of the time I wear an 18 and I don't know why I would be sizing up. I don't know if I was just like on one that day. Um, but it's a really cute color. It's like this pretty blue color and I wanted something blue because I don't have this color. And then it has like these big bell sleeves. And it's um, got this big old ruffly like bottom on it. And it feels like a nice material. It's, it's nothing like... I mean, I like it, and it's off the shoulder, and you know I love off the shoulder, but it doesn't work for me as a top. It's way too big, so then I was like, well, maybe if I put a little belt on it, but then I'm going to be giving, like, Shirley Temple vibes, and then my whole butt cheek's going to be hanging out, so I don't know. You guys can tell me if you think it's cute or if there's some way that I can actually pull this off, or, you know, maybe it should just go back. I don't normally send stuff back to Boohoo because it takes, like, a billion years, but sometimes I do, and uh, I might send it back this time. Uh, another thing I picked up, oh, did I tell you how much it was? I don't remember. Did I tell you? I'm all off right now. Twelve eighty. So uh, another thing that I picked up that I thought was so cute on the model again is this little romper, and it's um actually navy and cream. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but it is like a navy and cream romper. It's super super basic, like basically just like a t-shirt material. And I think I got it in a twenty. Yeah, I got it in a US twenty. This is a plus Hannah stripe short sleeve play suit, and uh, like I said, I got it in a size twenty. This was fourteen forty. It fits, it's fine. There's nothing like wildly amazing about it. Um, it's cute and comfortable and it's something I could see myself just kind of throwing on. The bottom is not too short. Um, it's not my favorite romper that I've ever bought, but for <laughs> my favorite one cost me like $90 actually. And so for 14 bucks, I have no complaints about this one. It would probably look really good with like a, maybe like a camel colored belt, you know, like maybe like a, a braided, darker belt. I could see that really kind of pulling it together. That way it would kind of accentuate the waist and give it a little something else, you know, not just a bunch of stripes. I also randomly picked up this top. 
I don't know what I was buying this day. I wish I remembered what, you know, how, what I felt and how I was thinking when I ordered, but I did it like when I was 22 basically, so you know. Uh, it's been a while and I can't remember, but this is the, hello, this is the Plus Diana Pom Pom Cami in white. I got this in a size US 18 Plus Diana. Dang, they just use the same names over and over again? Because our trousers were also named Diana. Uh, 1120. Dang. I mean, that's like not a lot of money for a shirt, a top, I mean, but uh, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. It's not ugly or anything, but <laughs> it's just full of pom poms. I'm just not a pom pom kind of gal. But um, I. You know what? I still think it's cute. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it on camera, it looks cuter on camera. So it just has a ton of pom-poms and I figured um, I could probably pair it with some leggings or just a pair of jeans. I wear jeans all the time. Okay, I just wiped half my lipstick off. I wear jeans all the time, so I, you know, I like to have easy tops to go with my jeans instead of the same old Adidas tops that I wear every single day. All these clothes that I have and I wear the same stuff all the time. Uh, thumbs up if you can relate. So I also got the Plus Maria Velvet Bralette and I got this in a US 18 and I wish I would have sized down to a 16 uh, because it's still kind of big. I never know though when it comes to stuff on top because my waist and my chest since they're a little bit smaller I can usually squeeze down an extra size if it's only covering that area like this one right here is a size uh, large and this is easy for me to fit into because it's only covering that area. If it had like my shoulders and my arms and everything else involved I would definitely need a bigger size but uh, this I thought was so cute. You know velvet is like such a trend right now and oh I've seen some people wear like full body velvet and I'm like oh I can't do it because it creates different lines and curves and stuff on your body it looks sometimes it can look kind of crazy but you know what I'm on the hunt actually stay tuned <laughs> can't say anything else but um this I thought was really cute and I like the color I really like the color a lot so I picked this up and I like I said it's a little bit big but I could still see myself wearing it for sure. Uh, and I bought it to wear <laughs> with these jeans I'm about to show you. Get ready, ladies, because, oh no. <laughs> uh, it's a no, it's a hell no, it's a oh no, not never, uh uh, mm -mm, no. So, no. <laughs> these I got in a size, let me see what they're called, let's go. Plus Nancy Boutique Gemstone Ripped Skinny Jeans. I got these in a size US 20, and that's because I've had some trouble with the sizing of the jeans at Boohoo. I've had a few different pairs. Uh, they've never fit me like amazingly, but uh, I have had one or two like work out. You know, they worked out for me, but the other ones were like comically horrendous. Uh, so we'll add this to that pile because I, I bought these because I liked how obnoxious the gems were and all the rips and everything and but like you guys look at the bottom these look how wide the bottom this is the length of my forearm okay that's how wide the bottom is look at how wide these jeans are you've seen me show enough jeans to know that this is not my size the butt what? These are basically like mom jeans. I don't know if they were supposed to be mom jeans or what. These are like hardcore, not cute mom jeans. And these were probably the most expensive thing that I bought, I imagine. Plus Nancy, 30, hell yeah, I'm returning these. $30.40, you and your ugly blue brother can go back home. So it might take six weeks to get there, but you will get there. <sighs> I don't even wanna show you guys these pants, but I'm going to. You see that they are hella wide, so wide, okay? The back, the back. Now I've had gaps above my butt before, but this gap, this is the gap of all gaps. This is a very large gap. You, I've never seen a gap like this before, okay? And then on the front, somehow it's tight in the front and then it has that gap in the back. How? How, Sway? How did we let this happen? How? And then it's so wide past my knees, but it's so tight on my thighs. Like, this is the exact kind of jeans that I used to always have to wear when I was growing up, like middle school and high school, because my mom wasn't really like plus size. She didn't have to shop like that. So she, you know, and plus they didn't have the options that we have now. So, 
Ugh. <laughs> this is what I had to wear. This is why I thought I was just like hideous and awful and I didn't deserve nothing because I was walking around wearing these jeans all day. No, 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 no. So anyway, in theory, they're super cute. And if you like really giant jeans, like giant knee down and just in the ass area, if you like them real loose in those two spots, these might be the jeans for you. I would love to know if these jeans actually fit any of you. Obviously they're not meant for my body, but I guess they really could be made for someone else's body. Um, clearly I'm just, I'm only concerned with what fits me. So then I also got this t-shirt. This is the last thing that I got and I think this is like my favorite top ever. This is the Plus Anna female slogan tee. You know what, I don't like, like half of these names on here, I know people with these names and I don't like them. So can I get some names that I like? Can I get some Ashleys? Can I get some Sarahs? Can I, those are about the only two names I can make. Can I get a Nala, a Sandra? Can I get some names of people that I like? Um, yeah. How much is it? <laughs> it's eight bucks. So super cheap shirt, like super inexpensive. And it just says the future is female. And I think it's so cute. It's got like these big, um, like oversized sort of like sleeve things or whatever. Yeah, they're sleeves. And it's super wide and it's like a nice heavy kind of like drapey material. So I think it looks so cute. And it's probably like my favorite thing that I got. Um, along with that skirt that I first showed you. So they really do name everything after women's names. Um, that's it, that's it for me. So this was all in total along with a little set that Nala had that, um, oh I showed you guys that set so. Everything together with delivery was $175. So that's not that bad considering how many items I got. Plus I'm gonna return them janky old jeans and that'll knock me down to like 140 bucks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. I'll see you guys next time, bye.